What's everybody doing? This is part two of the video on forgiveness and how you're clean. How, you know, you are not, you shouldn't feel guilty, you shouldn't feel shame of your mistakes because there's no such thing. And I was explaining in, the, in, the, in part one, <clears throat> Uh, there is no there's no such thing at a, as a bad decision and if you think about it there is no such thing as a bad decision there's really all just it's just decisions it's your mind that makes them bad it's your it's your mind that puts a label on it whether and it's either good or bad but it's your mind. It's it's not the reality. There's no such thing as a bad decision. There's no such thing as bad, and really, there's no such thing as good. This just it is, is it is what it is. Now, when you're talking about what you're feeling inside, naturally, you're supposed to feel good. That's your nature. There's a reason you like feeling good, than feeling bad, because that's your nature. But there's no such thing as a bad decision. Let me let me let me specify why there's no such thing as a bad decision. <clears throat> Let's say you make a decision. Now there's another video that I will be making on feelings, on how you should follow your feelings because your feelings are always right. You, it's okay to get opinions from other individuals and get other people's viewpoint and opinion on things. But at the end of the day, you must follow your feelings because your feelings are the ones that are always right. There's, it's like God speaking to you. <clears throat> so that's a big subject that I will be talking about in the future. I will make uh, many videos on it. Because... That feeling you have in your gut, that's like God speaking to you. And that's how we can know and be assured what is the right decision for us. But even then, we could still make bad decisions. So let's say that your gut feeling is... You're, you're, you have to make a decision. Your gut feeling is telling you to go this way. But for whatever reason, even though your gut feeling is... You, you're not feeling it. If you're not feeling right about it, you go this way. Even though your gut feeling is telling you to go this way. And it's something just not right about going this way. But you end up going that way. There is no such thing as a bad decision. <clears throat> because guess what's going to happen? You make this turn. You're going to get contrast. You're gonna get something that you don't like. That you don't. You're gonna get an experience that you're not gonna like. So what that's gonna do is get, it's gonna bring you one. It's gonna bring you pain. And two, it's gonna bring you clarification on what you really want, which means that you're gonna be able to focus on what you want. Thus, go for after. Go for what you want with more passion. Thus, it will come quicker. <clears throat> but pain is good because. In any situation, when it involves pain, and you feel pain, although it doesn't feel good, it's the best thing. You should pop that champagne. Whenever you have a situation in life and you feel, and, and, and you feel pain, it's a tragedy or whatever, you feel pain, honestly, you should pop the champagne. You should be glad. You should be feeling excited because something good is about to happen. Better than you could imagine. There's uh, <clears throat> for those that are Christians, and in, in the scriptures, is, it talks about how <clears throat> God will give you flowers or roses for your ashes. 
and how when there's darkness, the scripture talks about it, how there's when there's darkness, light is just is 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 dying to burst in. And once it burst in, you know, it's gonna come and 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 so strong. Light is gonna come so strong. And it, that is gonna pay pay you for all the darkness that you experience. That's what the scripture says. And it's true. You know, there's <clears throat> there's um uh, like in the in, in, in the Amazon and all those places where there's um, a lot of forestry, a lot of forest. Many of those times, uh, there's there's fires because of the heat. Of the heat, the heat is so strong, it causes a fire, and it it sometimes huge acres and huge parts of the forest get burned down. Now one may think that's a bad thing. Your mind labels it as a bad thing. But in reality, remember, there's no such thing as good or bad. It's really, it is what it is. And ultimately, everything is good because everything does work out for your benefit. But the reason is, your mind labels it as bad, but it's actually good because what you don't know is that... <clears throat> There's actually seeds in, in those type of forest. There's actually seeds that don't pop out of the cone unless it's surrounded by huge amounts of heat. And then if if the for if the fire doesn't happen, there will never be new growth. See, sometimes you have to burn, you have to rubble your house and destroy it before you can clean it up and build a new one better. Hmm? So pain is always good because remember, just remember, for those that are Christian, just look at the scripture. <coughs> God said he will give you flowers, roses for your ashes. And when there's darkness, light is just dying to burst in. And it's, it's like a balloon. It's, it's, the more pain it's, it's, it's coming, the more light wants to go in. And it's like a balloon until it blows up and it just bursts in. And it hits you and the blessings come to your life. Just look, at back, just look back at your life. Look at all the good things you have in your life. If you really look at them and every single good thing that you have in your life, something, quote, bad had to happen. Maybe it's your job. Maybe you have a good job. Well, think about it. You had to get, you had to get rid of your old job for you, to get, for you to get the new job. Maybe a relationship. You have a great relationship. <clears throat> or a great relationship with your parents. Something had to happen, you know. Something bad had to, quote, bad. It's really not bad. It is just, it is what it is. But something, quote, bad had to happen for, for that good thing to come, come about. You know, Napoleon Hill talks about in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, <clears throat> he says that and it's an adversity and i'm paraphrasing but it, it's an adversary it's an adversary where the seeds of greater possibilities come about or, or or grow or burst burst out the seeds of greater possibility and adversity and only an adversity and also you could look at look at any super successful person and look at their timeline they all had, quote, terrible situations that have happened to them. Terrible situations. But if, if you look closely at the timeline, at every single, single super successful person, every single time there's a bomb that goes off, something stupendously good happens afterwards. If you look at it, just look at your own life, look at, at their lives. It's, it's the way of life. 
It's like the river. <clears throat> the river has to keep flowing for it to stay clean. It can just stand still. A flower seed will grow or die and it never stand still. Life is that way. That's why the sooner you get rid of the quote bad situation or bad experience or the bad labeling, the sooner you you will find peace and happiness. You know? So get rid of that. And and back to what I was talking about. So you go this way, what your feeling tells you is not. One, you're going to experience pain. And two, you're going to experience contrast, adversity, which is going to make you focus on what you really want. So you'll go after what you want with more passion. And then it brings pain. So you know something good is going to come out of it. And you're growing. And, <clears throat> and three, you get experience. You will get experience from this, from this situation. It's like when you ride a bike. The reason you learn how to ride a bike is because of your mistakes. Of the mistakes, you know, maybe you fell down several times. Maybe you hit the pedal the wrong way or whatever. Maybe you made a bad turn. But you wouldn't have learned how to ride the bike if it wasn't for those mistakes. Think about it. It's the mistakes that make you learn. It's not the, it's not the right. You're not learning by doing everything correct. You're learning with the mistakes. Think about it. And that's how little, that's how many people, well, you may say, oh, but yeah, but that's a bike. We're talking about life here. No. There's a saying that says, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. And guess what? It's all small stuff. All of it is small stuff. It's you that makes it bigger than what it is. You ever heard the saying, don't make a mountain out of a molehill? It's all small stuff. You you are the one that's making it bigger than, than it is. And that's why you're experiencing more pain than you're, than, than you're supposed to. You're the one that is making the situation more hurtful and painful. But guess what? Even if you do that, you learn from it and something good is going to come out of it. Like I just talked about. <clears throat> So, one, you will get contrast, which will make you focus on what you want with more passion. So, what you want will come to you faster and more rewarding until you experience pain, which means you're growing and something good is going to come out of it. Because that's just whether you believe in God or not, just that's how life works. Whenever there's pain, something good comes out every single time. And we could talk about all the reasons why but it will be just an, another long video so that's another video but think about it's um, just the miracle of life it's just the miracle of life and if you believe in God then, or you believe in a higher power a positive entity <clears throat> in the universe then you know it's just the way the universe works in other words God loves you and it will never abandon you Totally love we're talking about. There's no such thing as a bad decision. This will save you from a heart attack. So don't get sad or guilty whenever you make a bad, a quote bad decision, or you don't make the right decision. You don't have to make a right decision every single time. 